Hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this video finds you. Welcome to Barely Grace. My name is Grace and I started this YouTube channel um, along with a Facebook group to promote self-care. Um, I do focus on skincare, hair care, and makeup, but I may talk about other things from time to time as well as they pertain to self-care. Uh, thank you for joining me today for this video. If self-care is something that interests you, I encourage you to like and subscribe. You can also share with your friends and join us on Facebook. So now that I got the intro out of the way, I am drinking my water. This is my Starbucks cup. It has water in it. This is the second one I've drank today. These are 20 ounce, I'm sorry, 16 ounce. Uh, this is a 16 ounce cup and I'm on my second one. Uh, so yeah, not doing too bad today. Uh, hopefully I can drink a couple more of those. Uh, my friend Ashley is doing a February uh, water challenge. Um, I posted uh, in the video yesterday about that, so you can definitely uh, check her out. She's in the description for yesterday's video where you can find her and follow her. <sighs> yeah, so I'm actually pre-recording this video. This video will go up on Wednesday, uh, but it is Tuesday afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and pre-record because I have a dentist appointment in the morning for a cleaning, like first thing super early in the morning, and then I have to work. <laughs> so, um, it is actually Tuesday afternoon. I just got back from the dentist. I went to the dentist today. Um, I've been having a lot of pain um, and I thought it was a, a tooth. I thought it was a particular tooth back here, but it's not. <laughs> we don't know what it is. We don't, we don't know what it is. Um, I did, uh, the dentist did kind of grind down uh, that tooth to kind of correct my bite. Um, and we talked, of course, about my wisdom teeth. Those have to come out. So I scheduled a consult um, with the same people who did Cash's removal. Um, so that's later on this month. Uh, tomorrow I have a cleaning. And then next week I have a couple of fill-ins that need to go in over here. Um, but we don't know what's causing the pain. Um, sometimes it's kind of localized and then sometimes it's like my entire jaw and sometimes it can even hurt like up into here. Um, especially like if I have a migraine, which <laughs> is most days, <laughs> but if I have a migraine, like this, the entire thing hurts. Like my ear, my ear pops a lot, all of this it all hurts and so like I said I thought it was just like that I had a super bad like decay or something in that tooth and I was like I'm it'll probably have to be pulled and I was fine with that but it's not that tooth we don't know we don't know what it is um I do have pretty bad anxiety and so it could be me like it could be tension on this muscle um where I like clench my teeth um, so it could definitely be that. It could also be that this back wisdom tooth here on the bottom, um, it could be that that is like in the nerve canal or, um, I don't know. I hope, I hope I get some relief soon. Um, because yeah, it's no fun. I mean, I've, you know, I've had migraines for years, so I can, you know, deal with and, and sometimes still somewhat function on a migraine. Um, but tooth and jaw pain is, is it's a whole different animal. So I hope we can figure out soon um, what's going on with that. Mm. I bit the dental assistant. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It was an accident. I felt so bad about it. Like the dentist had just asked me a question and I went to answer. And right about the time I went to answer, she went to stick her finger in my mouth to, you know, look at something, and I bit, like, I bit her fingertip. I felt so bad about it. I can't be the only person that's ever bit, like, a dentist or a dental assistant, um, but I felt so bad about it. I felt really bad about it. I'm going to try not 
to bite the one that cleans my teeth tomorrow. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. Um, but yeah, that's enough talking. Um, today's video, um, I've talked a little bit about hair care products in the past. Um, so I thought in this video, I would do like my hair routine. And of course, everyone's hair routine is going to be different. Um, there's going to be different products that need to be used. Um, I have like, I don't have curly hair, but I do have very wavy hair. And I try to like, um, encourage a curl pattern in my hair. Um, so I do steps that are kind of aligned um, somewhat of like a curly girl method, um, which if you have curly hair and you don't know anything about the curly hair method, I definitely suggest that you do some research on that, uh, on products and uh, routines that you can do based on your hair type. So I definitely encourage that. Um, I wash my hair since I've gotten it cut shorter because um, my hair is like to my shoulders now um, and since I got it cut I wash it like once a week but when my hair was really long like almost down to my waist um, it was more like every two weeks that I would wash my hair um, but I do try to wash it like once a week now uh, and then you can I don't know if you can tell because uh, I need to have it done again but my sides are shaved on both sides um, so it, the shaves go down and around and there's like a small amount like this much maybe that shaved underneath um, but I've had side shaves for years uh, I have super thick hair and I have a lot of hair um, I also you can see here I have a spot and on this side um, one of my kind of ticks that I do with my anxiety is I would like pull at the sides of my hair like before I did side shaves I would like pull at my hair um, and I don't do that now with my sides shaved but you can tell that I kind of have uh, I wouldn't say a bald spot uh, but my hair is much thinner um, in in these areas right here by my temples from where I would uh, kind of tug at my hair and, and twiddle my hair and fiddle with my hair so so yeah, that's what I got going on with my hair. Now, of course, it's colored. Um, so yeah, but I don't have dry hair. I don't have oily hair. A lot of people are like, oh, I can never go, you know, a week or two weeks without washing my hair because it's so oily. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I don't really have a problem with dandruff uh, or a dry scalp or anything like that. Um, I use a lot of products on wash days and then I don't necessarily use a lot of products in between. It really just depends on what I'm doing with my hair. Um, so yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and jump in. Some of these products I've talked about before uh, and then I'll kind of talk about um, the steps. I'll talk about like one, each one and kind of what I do as I go along. And there's also a couple tools in here as well. So. We will get started and I go in first with shampoo. This particular one is a cake. Um, this is the Curl Girl. I talked about this when I first got it in. Uh, I have since been able to use it and I do enjoy it. I love cake products. There's uh, several different ones in the line. Um, you can purchase them on um, Amazon. I get mine from Ipsy, but when I was in Walgreens, uh, yesterday I noticed that Walgreens carries this and I didn't know that um, so I'm excited about that because you can also purchase it there and then you may be able to purchase it other places probably like Ulta I've, I haven't really paid um, too much of attention to that but I do enjoy the cake um, cake naturally Lux beauty is the brand name um, they are out of Canada the little moose they are vegan and cruelty free and what I do with shampoo of course, I wet my hair first. Um, I take like cool showers. I definitely don't take like cold showers, but I don't take warm or hot showers either. I take like a, a cooler shower, but I uh, wet my hair. I put a little bit of shampoo um, in my hand and then I do this so that I have shampoo on both hands and kind of lather it up a little bit. And then I go in um, only at the root. Um, and then I go in at the root underneath um, and then I go in like on the sides here. So I only do um, I only do like my scalp and once I get the shampoo in there, I actually let the shampoo sit um, 
while I, you know, like brush my teeth or wash my face or anything like that. So I let this shampoo set for a minute or two before I rinse it out. Um, shampoos that are sulfate free, which I use sulfate free shampoos uh, because of my hair and in, in, because it's colored and and also because it's kind of wavy so I use sulfate free um, and if you use a sulfate free shampoo if you're familiar with it they do not lather like a normal shampoo does so it is okay to not have like the really like bubbly like lathery it's not going to do that your hair is still going to get clean um, occasionally I will go in like a second time with it but I don't do that very often maybe just like you know once every couple months or something um, so yeah that is a shampoo once I rinse the shampoo out I put in the conditioner and uh, this is the one I've also talked about this because they came as a set um, but this is the curl next door from cake absolutely love that and then once I get the conditioner in I do everything else in my shower so I leave the conditioner in while I'm doing everything else in the shower you know washing my body anything like that um, and I actually leave that in for quite a few minutes while the conditioner is still in like after it's been in there for a few minutes and while the conditioner is still in I go in and comb my hair the only time I ever touch a comb or a brush to my hair is when I am in the shower and it is full of conditioner um, so I go in and I comb through my hair um, I I usually start at the top and start to comb and then comb down. Um, I don't have a lot of tangles as much now that my hair is short. When my hair was longer, it took a lot of conditioner and a lot of picking it out. Uh, but now that my hair is just to my shoulders, um, it's just a real quick pick through. Um, and then once it's fully picked through, then that's when I will rinse it. Um, after I've rinsed the conditioner out of my hair while I am still in the shower, I make sure that I get all the water out. So I just kind of like do the scrunch method uh, to make sure all the water is out. And then once that's done, before I step out of the shower, I put in a leave-in conditioner. Um, this particular one I got from Ipsy, but I do like it. I also noticed that they carry this at Walgreens, and then you can purchase it on um you can purchase it on Amazon and you can purchase it at all 10 places like that. Uh, this is Mark Anthony. It's the Grow Long Super Fast Strength Leave-In Conditioner. Um, it detangles, reduces breakage, frizz, and split ends. It has caffeine and ginseng. Um, so this is a really neat product. Um, there's a lot of different leave-in conditioners that you can use. Like I said, I got this one in Ipsy. I've enjoyed it. Um, I may or may not repurchase it. I still have quite a bit left. It really just depends. It does have a nice uh, smell, so I do enjoy that. And you do not rinse this out. So once you put this in your hair, um, again, I just kind of... Once I run it through, I just kind of crunch up, scrunch up. And again, that's to just kind of... Um, enhance or encourage the the curl pattern so once that's in I'm done with my shower um, I go in with either a t-shirt or I have this it is a um, it's kind of hard you can't really tell what it is um, but you just like you put it in it's like a turban I guess um, but you you put your hair in there uh, and then I just kind of twist it around and then it like locks into place like this like on top of my head um, so I do that uh, like I said with either this or with a t-shirt um, just a regular like cotton t-shirt um, and I just leave the towel or the cotton t-shirt in there while I do some of my skincare. Um, so I'll do uh, like, you know, if I'm going to do a mask or if I do uh, any type of a treatment and then I'll do like serum and balm and oil and all that uh, as part of my skincare. And I just kind of leave the towel in my hair while I'm doing that. Um, and then once I'm done, I take the towel out and the next thing that I go in with is an oil. Um, this particular one, I really enjoy this one. This is the Hask um, Argan Oil. And it is um, 
Repairing Hair Oil. It strengthens and restores. Um, it is clean beauty. Um, so it it is very likely vegan. It doesn't necessarily say uh, that it's vegan or cruelty free. Uh, but it does say that it is clean beauty. Uh, but I do really like the Argan Oil. Um, you can use really any brand or if there's a different type See, it is uh, very much an oil. So I will just put a little bit of this in the palm of my hand. And then I will rub my hands together. And then I just go in again with the crunching method. And I crunch all around uh, my roots. And then I crunch down through my ends. And then I also rub the oil in on my sides. Um, so I very much do like this crunching method. Um, with the oil. You'll see I do that with all the products, um, but I do the oil. Um, after the oil is done, I go in with another leave-in conditioner. Um, this particular one, I've, I've been loving this. Absolutely love it. It is from Cake, Naturally Lux Beauty. This is the main manager totally to die for three in one leave-in conditioner seriously softening strand reviving moisture maven uh, and again cake is uh, from Canada they are cruelty free and vegan so I uh, I definitely love this product it smells wonderful it has like a uh, like a baked goods smell so I do enjoy that um, Again, with the leave-in conditioner, this particular one is like a, it's a spray, but it comes out as almost like a cream. Um, so I put that in my, put that in my hand. I rub my hands together and then I go in and crunch it uh, or scrunch it all through my hair. We still got more products. <laughs> After that leave-in conditioner, my next step is a curl cream. I've used a lot of different curl creams. I did only bring one in here today. I have a Not Your Mother's Curl Cream. I have run one from um, the Main Club. This one is from Cake, Naturally Lux Beauty. I just recently got this in, but I do love it. It's wonderful. This is the Curl Friend, totally to die for, defining curl cream. It is frizz, fighting, curl defining, glossy, silk styling I do um, I did this on wet hair but you can also do it on dry as far as this curl cream um, but I do it uh, while my hair is still wet so after the second leave-in conditioner I then go in with a curl cream um, so I look forward to continuing to use that one uh, but I have others that I like as well if you need any recommendations after the curl cream, this is something that I just recently started and I found out about it on, um, I'm on a, like a curly girl, um, Facebook group and someone had said, um, to use a gel and I use aloe. I use, um, this is just regular aloe vera gel. You see it's green, it smells like aloe vera and my hair, since I started doing this step, um, is it's softer and it's wavier. Um, so I do like the the gel step. Um, so after the curl cream, I go in with a gel, uh, and again I just put the gel in my hand. I rub my hands together and I scrunch all through my hair. So the gel is a step that I've added maybe two months ago and I do really enjoy that. And then after the gel, while my hair is still wet, I go in with a hairspray. Um, and this particular one is called Root to End. Um, it's Extra Hold Hairspray. Root to End is a brand that is sold exclusively at Dollar General. Um, this is the hairspray. I've also used the shampoo and conditioner. The kids have used the shampoo and conditioner. Um, so I do like this brand. It's inexpensive. Like I said, it's easy to find. There's a Dollar General on every corner. Um, so this is really cool. And I do like this hairspray. So while my hair is still wet, after the curl cream after the gel, then I go in with hairspray. 
After I spray the hair uh, with hairspray, I of course go back through uh, and kind of just scrunch it around. I'll lift up my roots some and just make sure uh, that it's scrunched. And then I let it air dry. Um, I'll let it air dry while I finish getting ready, while I do my makeup, whatever I'm going to be doing. Um, I just let it air dry as much as I can. Um, and then when it's probably like 85, 90% dry, then I will go in with my hair dryer that has a diffuser and I will go in and, you know, just kind of diffuse the hair. Um, once it's done, you know, once my hair is all dry, um, I don't have like the, you know, sometimes your hair can get like crunchy with gel and mousse and things like that. My hair never has that crunch to it. It's always very soft. Um, but once I'm done with the, um, diffusing, then I will go back in, uh, with that hairspray or sometimes I use a different hairspray and just spray all over, flip my head over, shake it out some, spray it again. Um, but yeah, that, that is my hair routine on wash days. All the products, please don't think I'm crazy for using all of these products. Uh, it's just what works for me in my routine. Um, so yeah, do you have a hair care routine? Uh, is there something like a particular method that you use or anything like that? I mean, are you one of those people that just like soap and go, you know, because uh, I've definitely been that person before in the past, um, but because I do love vivid color hair, because my hair has started to get wavy the older I get, um, I do like to do everything that I can to kind of encourage that. Um, my hair doesn't fade as quickly uh, when I color it, and my hair is nice and wavy and like I said, I don't like to say curly. Curly is one of those words that some people are gatekeepers of, you know. Um, so I definitely don't have curly hair, but I do have wavy hair. And I do like to encourage the wave. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, I just kind of, uh, today definitely was not a wash day. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to go through my hair routine and, and what I do. Um, and again, this is generally something that I do once a week. If I wash my hair more often, I might not do all those steps every time. Um, but yeah, and it doesn't take that long, you know, uh, for me to do the hair care, I guess, because I've done it so much that I'm just in that, in that headspace and it just, I just go through it really quickly. I probably do it a lot quicker than I just talked about it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, and like I said, everyone has different hair types. You know, you, you may not have curly hair, so you would leave out, you know, certain steps like the, the curl cream and the gel. Um, but even like with leave-in conditioner, Fee does not, she has texture in her hair, but it's not wavy like mine is. And I use a leave-in conditioner in her hair. Uh, and a lot of times I'll use an oil in her hair as well. So I'd be happy to talk to you about your hair. Uh, excuse me, what you do and what you should be doing and what products you can use and things like that. Um, but again, I, I hope this you know video helps you. I hope you enjoy the video. And I'm going to go ahead and... Go in there and check on cash and make sure they're still doing okay. Like I said, they had their wisdom teeth removed yesterday. Uh, and they've pretty much been sleeping. Haven't eaten anything. Um, their dad did message me earlier. My husband messaged me earlier and said that uh, he's going to be bringing home some soup. So Cash will enjoy that. But he was, Cash was upset that they wouldn't be getting any crunchies with their soup. My husband said that they would pick up some crunchies, but Cash is not going to be able to eat them. So, yeah. And I did lay out some chicken for dinner later. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we'll figure something out. And like I said, I have a first thing in the morning, uh, which is Thursday. I think, yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. My days are all mixed up because I haven't been working because I haven't felt good. And uh, so my days are all mixed up. But all I know is that 
the video that I'm recording right now will be posted tomorrow, which is Thursday. And I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, which is Thursday. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, whenever you're watching this, who knows? You could be watching this four years from now. <laughs> but whenever you watch this, I hope that you've had a lovely day. I encourage you to do something that gives back to you uh, because you're important and you're worth it.